So hi everyone and welcome to our latest Juno Journey video. I'm Colette and today we're going to show you how to create an effective shout out newsletter to motivate your employees to learn and develop. So this session is designed for anyone looking to drive employee engagement. We'll cover how to use Juno's learning management system or LMS and specifically the analytics tools to craft newsletters that engage and resonate with your people. So make sure to hit the subscribe and tap the notification bell down below to stay updated on all our future videos. Thank you. The first step of this is the newsletter that I'm showing you here, which is really just a mock-up. So basically, what we've done is we've we put in a whole lot of different media. We've got events, we've got top search skills, uh, top training department, and top learners. And the two areas that I wanted to highlight for you are this is top training department and top learners. So you can see here in the, in the newsletter, we're giving a shout out to um, the department that has done the most training in um, the last quarter. So obviously in a newsletter, you can choose the time frame. Um, we've chosen in this case to be for Q1 and a big shout out to the sales department who's the clear front runner, followed by marketing and HR. And so you've got this, this uh, pie chart just below, which shows you that data. Um, and so obviously the manager for that, the sales department and all of his team get, you know, big kudos because they're, they're being recognized for their efforts. And then hopefully other departments will want to follow suit. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can use the widgets area of the site to get this visual representation that we put in the newsletter and how we can easily then build the widget that gives us that visual rep representation. The second piece that I'm also going to share with you is over here under top learners, where you'll see we're giving a shout out to the top learners in the org who did the most training um, in Q1. And I'm specifically naming them Sally Jones, Joe Smith, Jane Doe, obviously fake names in this case, you'd have real names, and you should have real pictures. So again, making people feel good about their learning journey, and, and hopefully other people will, will then, um, you know, want to copy that behavior so they can also get a shout out in the newsletter. So, so the question is, where do we get this data from? the widgets that are driving this and, and, and how does that work? And we're gonna try and make it very easy for you. Um, so basically what you would do is you'd go to, you'd open your Juno site, you go to admin, analytics, and then there are three sub tabs that are gonna open. You're gonna, oh, well, that you'll see. The first one that you should click on is the analytics sub tab. And I'm just gonna choose the time frame that I wanna see our data in for the newsletter. So in this case, you know, let's say 12 months or six months, three months, whatever you're interested in for the newsletter. And then if I scroll down, you'll see here, there are two uh, charts. And basically, these are the, this is the visual representation of the data in the back end um, as to how your company is performed. So first one, top department by year by training. This was that one that we saw in the newsletter, which lends itself to a pie chart. And this one is top users by training, which, uh, you know, for the year, which lends itself to a bar chart. And these are the ones where we had uh, the top three users in the newsletter and we had their photos and their names and gave them the shout out that way. So this is what the widgets look like in terms of a visual res representation once you've already set them up. So I guess the next question, which I'm going to answer for you is, how do we build that? How do we make this really, really easy so that we get that data that we need for the newsletter. So I'm gonna to go to the second sub tab, which is called Widget Builder. And you'll see I've set up a number of widgets already. So I'm going to, um, I'm first gonna show you, let's just click out of this one. I'm gonna first show you this one, which is uh, top users by year by training. So this is where we have, you know, the, the, the specific users with their pictures, the data behind that. So I'm going to click on the activity uh, plus icon, and it gives me a whole lot of options. And any of these, when I mouse over it, you'll see it shows me a tooltip to the right where you can see what that is. So the one I'm going to look for is in, called internal content engagement. So there's two different uh, of different versions of these. The one is only for journeys. I'm gonna choose the first one, which is for journeys and non-journeys like courses, blog posts, 
basically all types of, of internal content. So I'm going to choose that one. And then it, it says that there are three different metrics by which it can display this parameter. So I can either display it by uh, total time spent in minutes, total unique users, or total content items. So I'm going to choose total content items. And, you, and then I'm going to change the time frame just to give us a bit more data. I'm going to change it to 12 months. So what you'll see here is a graph that, you know, it's very difficult to interpret what's going on here. Basically, it's saying that there's with 347 units of training or, or training items consumed in 12 months. But what, is, what does that mean? Who consumed them? Which department? I need to put it in a, in a, a, a meaningful way that, that um, departments can translate into action for the various departments. So this is where I'm going to actually break down this 347 into departments. That's why I click the breakdown tab. And when this is finished loading, I'm going to click on department. And you'll see it takes the 347 and now splits it among the various departments. So this one, again, you can choose if you want a bar chart or a pie chart. So I'm going to choose a pie chart, which is a, I think it's a cleaner, more easier to visualize representation of the data here. Um, and we basically, what we're seeing is that sales came out on top, followed by marketing, followed by HR. And this is what you then saw in the newsletter where we can give a shout out to the department and the manager um, for, for uh, you know, doing the most learning uh, in the year. And then if you want to export this to Excel, you just click on the little up arrow here in the top right, you press export to Excel and you'll see it's just going to create an Excel spreadsheet, which you can open, you can edit, manipulate it, you know, and maybe send it on to your colleagues, however you, you, you want to work it. Um, but you'll have that version that you can save. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to press create. But just sorry, just before I do that, I'm just going to call this V2, version 2. I'm going to press create, which saves the widget. And you'll see here, this is the one that I've just created. So whenever you now do a newsletter, you can literally go into analytics, widget builder, click on the first one, boom, all you need to do is you update the time frame uh, for the last 12 months or the last six months, whatever you need. And then you get that beautiful picture, which you then can um, screenshot into your newsletter, or you can uh, have a, an export, uh, an updated uh, uh, Excel export. So it's really, really easy for you to just redo this every time you do a newsletter. You don't have to do a lot of manual work at all. So I'm just to avoid confusion, I'm going to delete the duplicate that I've got here, which I created before this. The second, um, the second area that we that I'm going to show you was. Um, Oh, sorry, I've actually confused everyone. My, my mistake. This was actually department. So this is actually, uh, so uh, it's top department by year by training. So let's just save that. And then I'm going to create one, which is going to be called top users by training uh, for the year. And this I'm going to do for 12 months. So here I'm going to take a very similar route. I'm going to take activity, look for internal content engagement for journeys and non-journeys. I'm also going to go uh, total uh, content items. But here, I'm going to break it down by username. Let's see when that loads. And what this does, if I break it down by username, I can see exactly the users that have got to, uh, done the most training in the last year, right down to the ones that have done the least. And these top three, I can then give a shout out in the newsletter, say, well done, Ruby, Anisha, and Jaden. You are top three learners for the year. And hopefully the other ones and the laggers down here will say, you know what? I really want to be in the newsletter as well. And I also want to get a shout out. So I'm going to do more training and, and hopefully we'll see their names further up the list next time. So exactly like I did for the, the other widget, you can change to bar or pie chart, you can export and you can press create. And there you go, there it is. And let's just delete the duplicate of this other one. So, so it's, it's really, really very simple. You've now got this 
amazing visual representation down here. That's for three months. So I'm just going to show for 12 months. So you've got a bit more data. So you can see here this amazing visual representation, which you can then use in the newsletter to, um, to help people feel good about uh, their learning and development pathways and, and to really drive engagement on Juno. And, and hopefully, hopefully that way you'll be able to make more of an impact. Your L&D efforts will you know, make more of an impact on, on your organization. So that in a nutshell is everything. Um, any questions? Um, please feel free to put them in the chat.